Hey, this is Lula, and this is a special request video. I got a an anonymous message on Tumblr. If, if you weren't aware, that's mostly where I live. Uh, I am Lula Pants, L-U-U-L-A-P-A-N-T-S on Tumblr. Uh, anyway, the special request was to review Pharrell Williams' house, uh, or mansion, I guess, uh, in California, which recently sold, but I guess had some uh, pictures that went around the internet. I didn't see catch them the first time. Um, because of the way that they were posted in an article, I did have to kind of open each of them out in a separate tab. So I'm uh, not, not doing like totally fresh impressions like I usually do. Um, but thankfully, my mind is like a sieve. And the second I'm no longer looking at something, I forget that it exists. So it's kind of like looking at these fresh. Anyway, here's here's Pharrell Williams' house. Uh, this is a view from above at night. Oh, we could zoom in. Not that far. Okay. Um, it it looks big. A lot of windows. That's that's all I got so far. All right. Next. Okay. It's got kind of this goofy wavy roof line. Lots of water features down here you know i like the irregular like fake natural water features don't love that this is clearly I'm, I'm assuming this is los angeles and i'm assuming that they're watering the fuck out of this lawn uh and you know then keeping all of this watered and that's probably just great for society uh, it's very modern looking which i assume is the point um but it's, you know, it's it's modern looking in a way where it's like they were especially trying, you know, all they've accomplished is to show us that they wanted to look modern. Um, <clears throat> it's, okay, you know what, from this, from this angle, it, it makes me like a little sad to look at this because this doesn't look like a house to me. Like this doesn't look like somewhere that someone should live. This looks like a corporate building. You know, like, this is where somebody works. Um, far be it for me to, to pity Pharrell Williams, but I would not come to this place and, and feel cozy at home. Um, I would I would feel like I'm entering a, a business, casual, corporate environment. Yeah, look at this. This is, this is like a... I, I've seen a thousand buildings just like this, and they were they were full of cubicles. That's what I would expect to see in here, is, is cubicles in a sad lunchroom. Uh, we got some outdoor seating that also looks very corporate. Uh, we got some stone birds and a fountain that also looks... This... Who wants to live... You know what? The person that wants to live here is someone who's never worked a fucking corporate job in their life. They've never actually worked in an office. And so they don't associate that... Um, they don't have that associate. But, but, you know, he's got, like, agents and publicists. He has to go to meetings at their offices. Did he, like, go to his publicist's office and looked around and was like, this is great, I'd live here. Poor choices. Poor cho I keep going for that side button. It doesn't exist. At least they get palm trees here, and that's something that requires a shit ton of water, although there is <laughs> a shit ton of water there. It just gets more and more, like, corporate. That's that's the only word I associate with this. I, I, I would expect to be in this building from 9 to 5 and not a minute more. Because you're not paying me for a minute more, I'm gone. Goodbye. Um, get this, like, even this very modern looking statue. You know where you'd see that? Outside an office. Yep, that's that's where you'd see that. Okay, this, yeah, I, so I like an indoor water feature, but I also don't live in a water scarce area, so I, you know, I assume that's like, I, or I hope, I hope it's like recycled or something. I don't feel very optimistic on that. I'm sure it sounds soothing or some shit. Um, kind of like a fountain I kind of get, and I, again, 
Okay, so one downside of this is that, again, you're in a, at a house, supposedly, that already looks like a, a corporate cent headquarters. Um, and then the water feature is something that you would expect to see in a corporate headquarters. Second, this looks like an indoor river. And I would just live in fear of falling in there. Like, like, can you imagine walking through and then you just accidentally, you're like on your phone and you step off to the side. Boom, now your socks are wet. Um, do people walk on, around in a place like this in their socks? I don't know. Um, marble, this little table. Okay. You know, this, this doesn't look like decor that a person would own like from a a personal taste like there's there's no human element here um giant ass piece of art if you got the wall space for it i guess but do you really need i mean from this angle this looks like an airport like this is the airport bar i'm over here getting drunk and taking my makeup off at the bar because my flight is six hours delayed that's a true story um here's here's the other bar other hotel bar uh your gates up here and the plane is coming never yeah no this is i've i've just had like five work travel flashbacks cool 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 um at least there's natural light we'll give it that um Another shot of this thing in the dark, um, where it is still lit up like the sun. That's going to fuck with your circadian rhythm. See, this is the thing with modern furniture. Like, I kind of, I kind of like the aesthetics, but then on the other hand, like, the place that you see it the most is in, like, corporate settings. So, especially in this house, I look at that and I'm like, oh, that's, like, the sitting room at LAX or something, you know, it's, it doesn't scream home to me. Is this why celebrities are like vaguely sociopathic? Is that what happens is they live in place? This, this is literally, this is literally a hotel piece of furniture, right? Like with the divider. So there's, you know, people can sit on either side. The only, the only thing that's different is that these footrests, a hotel would never give you that much space that you might lay down uh, we got a billiards table if your mansion doesn't have a billiards table are you even really rich can't say can't say uh kind of cool fireplace um i'm real happy there's no tv here i'm not sure what that blank space is that could use i don't know something art we get we oh we got chuggy knife hand pillows almost missed it almost that's that's chuggy. Um, and of course, this is all kind of an indoor outdoor space, which, eh, you know, it's, it's good to make the outdoors accessible. Um, here's the corporate sitting room. See, and, and many rich people houses have this issue of just having way too much fucking floor space and so the room doesn't make sense with just one sitting room you're like oh we still got half the room left so we have to put another sitting room in in this case it doesn't look like it serves that purpose it looks like this is so that two different groups of employees <laughs> can sit in here and uh talk about I don't know what TV shows people talk about in the office. I don't go to the office anymore. That's that's a lot of pot for a little plant. Like I get these bullet some some plants need like the bullet planter because they've got a long tap root. I don't know that that plant's one of those. I think that's just a lot of pot for no reason. Name of my uh, college recap. All right, uh, that's some modern art. That's some good tax evasion modern art right there uh I, I don't know it's none of this none of this seems like a place that i would want to be after 5 p.m if if i was sitting on this couch and the clock turned five i'd be like well time for me to go um it's kind of a cool fireplace um okay here's the kitchen okay that's kind of dope that's that's a good setup there 
Um, I like that. A lot of, lot of stove space. That's, that's all industrial grade right there in the full fume hood. Uh, of course, we got a bowl of shitty apples. Is that, I, I, no, those might be pears. They might have opted for no lemons. That's, oh, how, how avant-garde of them. Um, I don't know what the ceiling thing is about. This, like, waffle grate ceiling. I feel like I worked a security job once where the best, pl like, I could get into all the, you know, different buildings on this place that I was working. And the best place to smoke pot was like under this grate it was like in the basement of this building and you looked up through this grate into like the walkway above but it was like so open that no one could tell where the sm where the smell was coming from um i i feel like it's you I, I would feel like i was standing under a street grate is what i'm trying to say all right we are in pharrell williams's bedroom and uh it's awfully wide open. We got a sitting area over here because this, there's just too much space. And otherwise, you just have wide open uh, floor space. So uh, that's a sign that your bedroom is too big when you have to put a seating area in it. Just make another room. Just a thought. Just make another room. It's just cavernous. Like, I wouldn't feel, and there's a door right here. I don't want to sleep next to, a, like, with a sliding glass door that's wide open with no curtains and set. Like, I get that this is probably a really secluded house and there's probably, I don't know, security or something keeping the, the paparazzi from just walking up here and peeking in. But I, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to live that life. I would I would not sleep well like that. Another bedroom, just gazing. I mean, at this point, you're not even worried about anyone looking in the window. It's just like, you know, sometimes you want to sleep in and you don't want the sun like beaming in your eyes. Maybe, does this look like a blind here? Maybe that pulls down. That might be. I don't know. Um, is this... This art just looks like a big piece of butcher paper that someone, a bunch of people scribbled on. Um, no disrespect to the artist, but that's, that's some tax evasion art right there. That's what that is. Uh, all right. We're, we're trucking along. Uh, this is, I think we saw this view of the house before. Here's this outdoor sitting area. Um, I guess that's kind of fun. Um, looks comfy, as comfy as anything here does. I, you know, I feel like just, just send Pharrell Williams to like work full time at some bullshit corporate job with a boss and coworkers that he hates and see if, see if this is still his style. Or maybe, maybe he did. Maybe he did and that's why he sold it. He realized that it was a, a weird place to live and he decided to get something normal that's you know what we're gonna we're gonna go with that this looks like uh like sage or lilac or something that's that's probably more water conscious than this and that um again if you're gonna have a pool here this i do like the kind of like faux natural style that's kind of cool um and I, you know what, I'll give it that the colors that are, like, bouncing off these windows, I th it looks like this is sunset. That's, that's very cool. Like, the glass work here is well done in terms of the color. I'll give it that. Got a you got a waterfall into your pool. All right, that's cool. You know what, I'll admit it. I'll admit it, that's cool. You got a hot tub. That's nice. Did you really need a patch of grass here? Did you? You just have to water it. That's, I guess, you just splash up some water from the pool. Except that's, I don't know, chlorinated, I assume. So maybe not great for it. Um, all right. All right. What else we got? What else? Oh, all right. Last one. And it's a regulation-sized tennis court with a basketball hoop. Of course, of course it is. Um, 
at least it's not using water. All right. Uh, so that's that's Pharrell Williams's old house that he sold, and uh, that's all I really know. But he's the one that did the happy song, right? I'm I'm not up on celebrity shit. Um, maybe maybe that song was a cry for help. You know that he he had to like so so ardently you know insist that he was happy because he was living here and there was something wrong um <laughs> I, I don't know man all right i hope you enjoyed this uh this special video and uh peek at how celebrities live i guess i don't really give a shit about them and i hope you don't either if you noticed anything that i missed uh, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, like, subscribe, follow your heart, whatever you're going to do, and have a good one.